Hello, my name is Pete Schmidt and I'm an experimental physicist working at Leibniz University in Hanover and PTB in Braunschweig. I was watching TV with my family and I remember very vividly the excitement of my parents about this historic event. From early on, I wanted to become an inventor. I was curious to know what's behind things. For example, how does an electrical train work? I soon started inventing my own electronic circuits and computer programs. And now we're inventing new quantum algorithms to perform spectroscopy. So, yes indeed, my wish did come true. Our research breaks the resolution wall in spectroscopy of highly charged ions. Now, highly charged ions are abundant in the universe since matter in the universe occurs mostly in a highly ionized form in and around stars and has been used as a diagnostic tool for stellar processes for a long time. In the laboratory, the observable spectroscopic features were limited to tens of gigahertz by the extremely high temperature of the plasma in which the highly charged ions are produced, reaching megakelvin temperatures. This is nine order of magnitudes broader than the natural width of the feature. But already 10 years ago, highly charged ions have been proposed as promising optical clock candidates with special features enabling tests of fundamental physics. To unlock this hidden potential, spectroscopic resolution well below a hertz is required. Now in our experiments, we have realized this vision by extracting highly charged argon-13 plus from a high temperature plasma, slowed and cooled it down. And finally, we stored it in an ion trap together with another so-called logic ion that we can cool and control using lasers. They act similar to two children on separate swings that are connected. If we push one ion, the other ion starts to move as well. However, we use this coupling in reverse to cool the ions close to a standstill. In the last step, since we cannot talk to the highly charged ion directly, we use the logic ion as a messenger to get the spectroscopic information. This way we were able to resolve the transition in argon-13 plus close to its natural line with improving previous measurements by more than nine orders of magnitude. Now let me translate this into a measurement of the distance between the Earth and the Sun of around 150 million kilometers. The previous techniques were able to resolve this distance to around 33 kilometers, whereas we are able to resolve it down to the diameter of a human hair. In our approach, we combine techniques that have been developed for quantum information processing with trapped ions and use them for precision spectroscopy. Um, that's a pretty universal technique uh, which allows us to investigate many different highly charged ion species for different applications. Now, in fact, our technique turns the periodic table into a three-dimensional object, opening the charge state of the atoms as the third dimension for spectroscopy. With this new tool at hand, we will start exploring applications of high-resolution spectroscopy of highly charged ions. First of all, there are a dozen or so highly charged ion species that have been proposed as potential clock candidates, and we will start investigating the most promising one with the potential to become as good or even better as current optical clocks. Optical clocks, of course, have many applications, ranging from navigation, synchronization of networks, height measurements over long distances to support Earth monitoring, and many more. But we are particularly interested in using highly charged ion spectroscopy to search for so-called new physics. We know that our understanding of physics is incomplete since we know, for example, dark matter must exist, but we have no idea what it is. Highly charged ions are among the most sensitive atomic detectors for certain types of dark matter and other forms of new physics that we plan to explore and thus improve our understanding of nature. There are many things that keep me thinking how to most efficiently understand and control the most interesting highly charged ions for these tests of fundamental physics with their much more complex level structure is an outstanding problem. 
And similarly, disentangling new physics from well-known physics can be very challenging in these experiments. Now, my kids are very impressed by the complexity of our setups and try to help out by coming up with their own research questions and ideas.